Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would like to show you how I'm cutting bow tie just with a chisel, router, and my bandsaw without any jigs. So, I hope you would like it. So, stay tuned and we go on it. So, first step we're gonna mark our bow tie on the piece of wood, which I have a template. So we're gonna mark it like that. Simple like bow tie. The next step is to cut it out. You can use coping saw, whatever saw you have. I'm gonna use like Bench, bench saw, bench top. So we have our bow tie and what we need to do next is to mark the bow tie on the piece of wood where we want to lay the bow tie and to do that we're gonna use pen just mark out the bow tie where we want it. We're gonna <coughs> secure the wood to the table and we're gonna cut it out. So when we're cutting the, I'm gonna call it packet, for the bow tie with the router, I'm always leaving uh, between the line and the cut, like one millimeter, two millimeter space, so I can work it out to the line after with the chisel, so we have a perfect fit. So I just finished routing the packet for the bow tie and what I need to do now, I need to take a chisel and just work way towards the line because I keep the wood untouched around the line. So it's easy just from the that and working towards the line. So our packet is chiseled out, the next step is <coughs> to try the bow tie if it's gonna fit into the packet 
and I think we have a pretty good fit so we gotta put glue there and we're gonna glue it in so I like to put glue inside the packet like that and even on the bow tie Set. Now we're gonna wait for the glue dry. After we're gonna cut the access and access, and we're gonna set it down and see how does it look like. So do, the glue have plenty of time to uh, dry. So we're gonna cut the access and we're gonna see how does it look like after sanding and that. You can see we have a pretty good fit. I'm just gonna put some oil on it so you can see how does it look like. It's gonna use some Danish oil. There you go guys, this is how I'm cutting the uh, bow ties by hand, this is actually my fifth time that I done bow tie by hand, most of the time I'm using Miles Craft jig for this, but I think it's pretty good fit, nice, so yeah, I'm happy with it. So if you have any question, please leave a comment down below, share, subscribe. And I'll be happy to see you in the next video. Thank you so much.